Hey now, we got a one, a two, a three, and a double. Hey now, but I'm like coming at you from the bunker. And what am I doing today? As I'm off camera a little bit, speaking into the camera, I'm listening to the crumb suckers. It's 9.05 a.m. and I am listing this item here. Now I picked this up at the flea market last year for $40. I knew there was some meat on the bones. I also knew it was a cool piece, and I knew it was a piece that, I, when I say meat on the bones, there's a little money for profit if I were to decide to sell it. Um, I like to pick up these pieces that are damaged like this because you can usually get them a lot cheaper. So it's a cast metal piece, 1950s, from Blatz. It's called the Blatz Man, and he's skating. Promotional piece that uh, I guess you could either buy or was in a liquor store, bar, etc. Not too sure, but there's a lot of them out there. So this one right here, like I said, is a, an aluminum cast, and there's several breaks in it. There's a break at the bottom of the sign right there. Turn my camera off right here, because I'm going to list this on eBay here. So, let me see, what more can I tell you about it? Well, let's start where we were just going with that. As you can see, this would screw into the base and has a screw, and then you would tighten it. Well, being a cast aluminum, which is really notorious for being easy to break. You can see that it's broken out right there. And also where the skater sits in, two screws hold him in place. That is cracked. So, and it looks like someone tried to repair it at one time. And they slipped a piece in there. Hmm, interesting. That's either an original piece to it, which just punched through. Interesting. It looks, like it looks like it's designed that way. But what a thin, horrible design because you know it's going to break. There's some serious weight to the Blatz man himself. Now he's also missing his earmuffs. There's also a break in the bottom of the beer mug right there. But overall, other than that, it's a decent shelf piece for restore or display. Like I said, it displays if you were to have that on your bookshelf. Now, a good condition one brings about, oh, geez, anywhere between two and three hundred dollars, I guess, depending on how mint and how um, complete it is. This one is in rough shape. I paid probably exactly what it's worth. Now, I'm going to put it on eBay, and we're going to see if I can make any profit on it, because that's what it's all about. Uh, originally, this was a piece that I thought, oh, that's cool, it's cheap enough, I'll keep it for retirement, but as I've decided, I'm moving it out. I really don't got a lot of heart into it. So let's do what I intended on doing. Having a boring video, watching you watch me. Well, I can't watch you, I guess, now can I? I need to replace the batteries on my old Canon camera. Can you believe that I'm using something so old? This was a gift from uh, my stepfather, though, probably about, geez, 10 years ago. And it works fine doesn't focus the best, that's for sure. I mean, there's definitely millions of cameras. But, we've got that old poor attitude, you know, I'm going to drive it into the ground before I'll replace it. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture from every single angle, and I'm going to take any pictures that I can that show damage. And that's the best thing I can do. So, you're probably going to see a lot of the, my bald spot, the back of my bald head, and my ugly mug as I take these pictures quietly and listen to the crumb suckers. So first I want to take one nice, clear, full head-on shot. That will be my uh, main picture, I believe. And then you just want to start dissecting it, um, taking every angle, focusing on the bad. It's getting more and more difficult using this shitty camera. Try not to move. even a small movement with this camera. Causes serious. Fuzzy. Now I 
had this on Craigslist for the longest time. And uh, I've had it, and originally I think I put it up there for 200 bucks, thinking I could flip it. But the more I looked at it and I seen what kind of rough shape it was in, I realized I was in for trouble. With the damage to it. And I kind of wanted it gone, so I marked it down to 100 bucks. Finally got a bite on it yesterday. 1952, mind you, this was made. 48, 16, you do the math. Hopefully I haven't used all my pictures up. If I'm lucky, I got one picture left. Praying. Oh, I've taken 13 pictures. So, I'm going to take one more. Just to show the size of it. <laughs> so I had it on Craigslist, 100 bucks. Finally got a bite on it yesterday. A guy sent me an email. He's like, will you take 70 bucks for it? I thought, shit, why not, you know? I'll make 30 bucks profit, get it out the frickin' door, and be done with it. Because I panic and try to move around to find my um, measuring stick. <coughs> my ruler. So, I said, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let you have it for... Uh, Seventy bucks. <coughs> Excuse me. Scratchy throat early morning. So I say, yeah, I'll sell to you for seventy bucks. And uh, guy comes out. A lot of back and forth emails, which I hate. Comes out. As soon as he gets there, he pulls up in one of these cars that are covered in a decal, you know, for his business that he works for or whatever very gaudy. Gets out of the car. He's got to be in his 50s. Right away I can tell that he's an antique dealer or a side dealer. One of these guys that has a booth at an auction house, whatever. Not that that's bad. But that's what I read of him. Comes over immediately. Just, you know, a lot of this. Oh, he's dirty. Oh, is that cast? So he's not even familiar with the piece. He doesn't even know what he's looking at. Ugh. I'm going to break it more. He doesn't even know what he's looking at. And he goes, wow. And he's looking at the bottom of the sign and he's like, oh, it doesn't look like it fits. I go, no, that goes with it. And he goes, well, the hole's bigger. I go, that's because it's cast. I mean, it's been sitting in there rocking back and forth over the years. It's worn the hole a little bit more. So then he comes up here and he sees the tape on the ear. So he doesn't know that they're supposed to be, uh, uh, what are they, earmuffs. So there's a piece of... Uh, I don't know. A thin piece of plastic that remains. He starts going like this with it. Just flicking it. Yeah, yeah, you know. I think I'm gonna pass, you know. You idiot. Now, I truly believe that you have to know what you're doing as a buyer. You never pass. Uh, if you're a smart man, what you do is, if you went all that way, you obviously wanted the piece. Now, if you get there, and it's, you find a huge mistake or something about it that shuts out it, that's a time to get the price even lower. But no, he's going to snub me and rub me. No. So whatever, I've got his name written down on a list, shit list. And next time he contacts me for a, an item to come look at, I hate tire kickers. I really do. I honestly feel in this business, know what the F you're doing. If you're going to go out on a call to buy something and you've already committed to it verbally, you keep to it. If there is a huge problem with it, like obviously if it was a reproduction or something, you could back out with that type of situation. But when you've got 12 pitchers, and you can email a person and ask questions and you've already knocked the price down you do not go and snub someone and waste your own time as well as theirs right I think that that's just common sense but I get I get probably realistically when I sell something on Craigslist I probably get how many of those I would bet every 20 sales if I were getting rid of some of my private stuff on Craigslist I've run into guys like that and oh they suck the life out of you because they come over and oh, oh. Oh, because they just realize that they can't make a killing off of you. Bastards. Hello, Metal Mike. Now I'm going to take those pictures, download them, and have this ready to go on eBay tonight at uh, 8 o'clock Minnesota time. 
So if you want to look at it and see my horrible pictures, you can just uh, look me up on uh, eBay. And then, uh, Blatsman. Hey, uh.